Hi, we're here today with George and Ian from Precision Blast Systems. I'm looking at a new blast machine, various different grits to get the most cost-effective way of blasting and health and safety conscious blasting. We're also looking at a vacuum blast system so we can do inside of water tanks very easy and also the engine room. So our boats, by the time we've got this system all in place, we'll be literally blasting pretty much all of the boat, even the inside, if anybody particularly wanted it doing, could be done. I'll let Ian explain a little bit more about the machine and the, the aggregates we've been trying. Let's see what he's got to say. So this is the latest uh, grit core machine. This is a, called an excellent model. The idea behind these is they're much more efficient than a conventional shot blast pot. The machines have very, very precise control of both blast pressure and abrasive flow. So typically the trials we've been doing here with a conventional pot, a 25 kilogram bag of abrasive is lasting about three minutes. With this pot, we're currently running at between eight and nine minutes a bag. So we're using a third of the abrasive, but we're actually getting better speed. The uh, two abrasives we've been using, we've been trying a slag material, an iron silicate, which is a very common abrasive used these days on steel blasting. We've also been using GMA Garnet. Garnet is a, a, a very environmentally friendly abrasive. It's, uh, it's faster than the slag materials and it's a very uniform finish, so it flows very well through the machine. So we've been trying the Garnet versus the, uh, the slag material. The idea with these is to cut down the amount of abrasive used per vessel but also cut down the amount of waste. Getting rid of waste is a very expensive business these days. So not only have you got to buy the abrasive, but you've got to get rid of it afterwards. So by cutting down the abrasive consumption by two thirds, we can cut down the amount of waste cost by two thirds, whilst giving a better finish and better speed. We're also conscious of how the uh, operators like the machine. So we have a uh, the latest in the guns, this is the uh, RPB G3. So the G3 has a uh, good ergonomic trigger. It also has on the back here control of the abrasive. So the operator can actually turn the abrasive on and off from the gun. So if you want to blow an area off, it's got a swivel on it. So it's much easier to hold. So it means the blaster is a lot more comfortable. So using this plus the, the Nova 3 helmet, the idea is to make the blaster as comfortable as we possibly can to do the job. So we've got a range of nozzles that we can use. These are the standard silicon carbide nozzles, which are quite common, available in a range of sizes, depending on the blast area you want to cover. Then we've also been trying this morning the new XL nozzles. These are, have got a very uh, efficient venturi inside them. So the speed and the blast pattern from this nozzle is much greater. So you get better productivity out of the nozzle for the same amount of abrasive. So these nozzles simply interchange into the holder in the end. Obviously with the new gun, it makes them a lot easier to use. So the operator is in a really good position to blast. On top of that, we can also blast, uh, Dave mentioned vacuum blasting. That's something which is becoming more popular for hard to reach areas and areas where you don't want any dust. So we put a vacuum head on where the abrasive is drawn back up, recycled back through the machine. So there is absolutely no dust at all with these. So for internal areas such as tanks, engine rooms where you don't want any dust, then these are an option that can, be, uh, that can be used. It's looking at a long-term investment by stripping the hull back to bare white metal, mm -hmm. then putting the correct paint system on will make the hulls last a lot longer. The painting will have to be done less frequently. So overall, it's a long-term investment that will protect the boat. So it's a, it's a good service that, uh, that they're providing here at Blue Water. I see a lot of our competitors and people who have started trying to shop blast boats. A lot of them don't seem to have much of a profile. So I think I'm right in saying it starts with a compressor and obviously then we've got the dryer. 
and then obviously the machine's got to be set up correctly to get that right profile. That's um, that's that's correct. I mean, the uh, having the correct system from compressor through to blast machine is essential. You've invested in an after cooler already. The after coolers are worth the weight in gold because they remove the water from the compressed air. Without them, you're blasting with wet air. So we all get problems with flash rusting, whereas with a, with a dry air system, that cuts that down. And yes, you're right, setting the machine up, um, you need the right profile for the paint system. So it's a combination of the correct grit size, correct blast pressure, and the amount of grit, which will give you the surface that you require. The way the machine is set up is, is critical. So it is important that people receive training, that they know what they're doing. Obviously, you've been doing it a long time, so you're quite switched on to how the machine should be set up and the profile required. But getting the right setup is essential. It's not as simple as just buying a cheap blast pot and off you go. There's a lot more to it than that. No, we've, we've learned our lessons early on with that and especially going on to the next step, the, the, the paint machines and the airless sprayers and air assisted airless sprayers. Um, there's a machine that's right for each application and you know, unfortunately it's expensive to buy a machine to do every application, but sometimes it's the only way, isn't it? Well, if you haven't got the right equipment, then you're not gonna do the right job. No. So. no. Okay, well, thanks a lot for your time today. No problem, and, uh, thanks David. We'll be in touch soon.